Yo, what's up, guys? So, um, today, this is the uh, first episode of uh, How to Cannon, or How to Build a Cannon, that is. Today, I'm gonna be joined by Manical, so Manical, say hi. Hello. Yep, so he's gonna be just here to help me build, and I'll be explaining most of the um, parts. Alright, so first, let's start with the power. Uh, the power is always on most cannons. Imagine this is your platform. Most of your power is always gonna be on the left side, over here. So let's just start like over here. So how I do it, or how most people do it, is you go three blocks up, destroy the blocks here. And then you wanna make a full white platform. Uh, and then let's say we're gonna be making a 25 long power. So I'm gonna stack this 26 left. That's just uh, cause this booster here. So I'm gonna build my boosters here. So these are infinity boosters. If you guys don't already know what these are, uh, basically, they just boost the power, and the power drops down. You, you'll see in a second. Uh, so, this is just how you wire your power. So, this is the first booster. So, basically, uh, you would have your button here. So, you would have your power coming in here. And then your boosters would fire. So, this one would fire, then this one would fire, then this one, then this one, then this one. And then that would all stack up to uh, make your power stack in where the barrel is going to be. So you'll see in a second. So because these are uh, five, uh, basically there's different ratios on your boosters. Because these are five, five um, long, uh, you usually need one tick. You don't always need it here, but that's just how I do it. Uh, that, that's how you do your infinity piece, uh, and then it just works like that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, um, now you just do design. So you don't need this. I mean, most people always have this. Your design is just you have a little hole here, and then. Uh, you've got your power coming in through here. This is your anti-spray booster. You need this on a three sec. It, unless you're timing your cannon very correct. So if you time your cannon perfectly, then you don't need this. But usually most people don't do like that. Now, the way me and Manacle do our cannons is we basically uh, have glass here. And then on top, we've got our power. So we've got our dispensers here for our power. And then here, we also have glass. I'm going to stack this 24 left right i mean and i'm gonna also stack this 24 right and then on top of here you just do a little bit of design so as you can see like this uh and then on top of here this is where your power sits so your power is everything uh basically everything goes after your power so how do i explain it basically your power uh explodes everything your power keeps everything yeah, your power shoots everything, basically. I mean, it's pretty easy to understand. Is this 15 high? Yeah, okay. this is 15. So we're gonna just do a normal power, no AP power here. Uh, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to build a power for the yeah. first video, and then I'll be teaching you how to build everything else. So on the power, you don't have to do this. Uh, it's just design. It's just mainly design. Um, looks nice. It just makes the cannon look nicer, yeah. We forgot it. It's <clears throat> yeah. So <clears throat> this is how we do it. You guys can use ladders instead of glass here. And then you, here you can use glass or you can use ladders. We just use, uh, we just use uh, ladders. <clears throat> so you can get inside quite easily. Here you can also have ladders or whatever. Now <clears throat> with wiring your cannon, basically a manacle, uh, you show them. Yeah. So, so basically, basically you've... You normally you just start with this. So the bottom two, you don't want any glowstone or slabs. Yep. The, so that the signal can carry on because redstone signal cannot travel down close to no slabs. Yeah. The bottom thing won't have that, and then <clears> after that, you let the Jimmy just grab some glowstone real quick. You've got your obby here. Yeah. You have your glowstone, <clears> and <throat> what you do is, is you will just stack this up. Yep. So you stack that up. So, so this go. glowstone basically it um is just the signal traveling up basically. So obviously glowstone can uh, it, it's not a full block or. It is a full block, but redstone can just travel through it. Same with slabs. Uh, you've probably yeah. seen before. And then it's a transparent block. And then once you've done this, you can just stack it, right? So if you stack, this should be tall. Oh, right? I I got more than limited. Oh, uh, here I'll do it. That's fine. Uh, if you just stack this, like let's say eleven well, or twelve, right? Yeah. Did you get water? It's limited too. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did. I did. Did they did they make that on canon so you can't do that? I'm not sure. I, I don't it's not like that. It's, I think it's just body being a bit buggy. Wait, try it. 
not. That is not how it's meant to go. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there you go. So if you stack six right, let's do eight right. This is basically how you want to have your power. Yeah. Uh, and then you and then flip it. And you you copy would. It. Yeah, you would copy it and then you flip it and you paste it on the other side. So Manu will show you that. <clears throat> so you just stand on one block, copy it, and then you'd flip it, and then you go to the other side on the same block, and then you paste. That will just save you half the time from trying to do the entire thing again. Also, useful yeah. thing: if you do your power with an odd number of dispensers, it's then easier. when you flip, then you don't get like odd. Yeah, I mean it's uh, on. You get the both the same on the other side. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, when you're flipping it, it it does it correctly. But usually, when people use rotate, it doesn't. So because this yeah. is uh, 24, I think this is 24. So this is I'm a 24 sure. power. Um, basically, uh, you can't actually power it from here because that only here. I'll show you that Go that yeah, your redstone only goes to here. So what you actually want to do is you want to um, you want to start wiring it like this from the middle. Yeah, you want to start it. So this so that is way just you can so bring the <clears throat> from here, from right at the start here, all the way to the middle, so that you can power everything. Mhm. Mm and this is just the way we do it. So yeah. I can't remember which one you did it. You can see like, right here. It was like here. It was like here or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, there's many ways to build the power. If you're making it 15, 15 by fifteen, then you obviously don't need this method. If you, you can just power it like from here. You can, yeah, you can just power it from here and this would be yeah. here. And if you're doing repeatless wiring, you can't do 15 high, it has to be 14 high. It has otherwise to be 14, yeah. So otherwise, if you're double the, the, the signal doesn't reach all the way to the top dispenser. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make the clock. So you can put the clock usually anywhere. Uh, now, a simple clock just is basically here. Uh, let's just put it over here. So a simple clock, you've got your lever, then your button with redstone on top. So your lever is made for this, and then, yeah. Your lever, your lever, uh, wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm dumb. You've got it like this, so there's a piston where your button is. Uh, so from your button, uh, you power a repeater, and then you've got blocks here with a piston underneath. Then you also have to have redstone here. If you have a repeater, it doesn't work because when and then you have your clock, <coughs> you have a much you want. This yeah, is gonna so be you, a block. Yeah, so, so when you, you if you have a repeater here basically, th this powers this. If you have a repeater, then that does not power. So yeah. So he, this is a three set clock. And then either you can put a pulse extender here. This is just for your sand comp. So we're gonna be doing a, a double scomp or a double sand comp. And for that you usually need to pulse extend for either uh, depends how Obviously, how long it is, but um, Normally it's like a second. yeah, usually you pulse extend for a second or 1.1 seconds. <coughs> These are just the lines that is gonna power everything. So this one's gonna be going to your power. So you power this like that. That's how we're gonna do it. And then you have a glowstone tower going up like this. Now you can use build helper if your server has build helper. Um, if it doesn't, then oof. So this should reach. Yeah. Um, yeah, that <laughs> now you want to tick these repeaters to how much you want. Usually on a cannon, uh, it's your decision. So on this cannon, we're just going to do it from this repeater right here. We're going to do it 15 and 17 redstone ticks. Yeah, um, you need uh, your power to apart for the parallel fusion. Yes, uh, yeah. So this is going to do, so we're going to add three ticks here and then two more. And then on here, we're also going to add three ticks. Uh, Fine, there. That should be, so if we count again, that's 15, this should be 17. This or needs eight. one less, because there's one, I added mm -hmm. one here for the 15. Mm, that is 16, there. no, that's 16. Oh, oops, yeah. sorry. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, you just need your powers to a pot, because otherwise you can't fusion. And a fusion okay. is just simply, um, oh, a fusion is just you're shooting through a one block gap, you're not shooting through two. Yeah, so old cannons so, um, don't have fusions. Timing this piston, this piston depends on if you if you put your post extender there. If you have a post extender here yeah. <clears throat> and you're using a double pump, then you just subtract that from 10 full repeaters. So right now we're doing a second. 
So yeah. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full repeaters. Now I'm pretty yeah. sure that should work, so that it opens and then closes up the power. Yeah. So that when the next power, when the next shot falls down, it doesn't spray it back. So next, this is the part where you build your barrel. So your barrel is, or you're just gonna do it like this. Your barrel consists of um, trap doors and then a random block of your choice. Like, yeah. So we're just gonna do it. Like uh, a little bit like this. Now you actually, the, you can technically do it like we're gonna do it like this. Now the, uh, on some other cannons, <clears throat> if you have a different type of barrel and your power is here, you your piston, you're gonna get exposure from your power over there. Mm, that's just gonna spray. Um, but on this cannon, it's not gonna happen. So here, this is where all your stuff comes in. This is where your sand comes in, and all of that. <clears throat> <clears throat> If you guys don't know, I have a cold. Well, a cold. I just can't really speak well, so uh, I might be uh, sounding really uh, retarded for a few videos. <clears throat> <clears throat> My voice is gonna get better. But for these few videos, I might cough and stuff like that. I do not have Corona, so <clears throat> don't run away from me, please. Because, yeah. I think water is dying. <clears throat> it really is. <clears throat> oh, <Yeah>. hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was so. Basically, a stair barrel is what most people use. There's other barrels, there's AGs, there's other types of barrels, which I'm not gonna get, go into detail. This is just where you're gonna have all of your stuff, so you could, this is where it's all coming. So if you guys don't know, sand and TNT, or entities, are 0 0.98 of a block. Uh, let me just put that into a chat. <laughs> that Zero that, point, uh, Z point, 0 0.98, meaning if you've got this, this isn't a full block. Or, I mean, it technically is, right? But it's just not correct. Um, but you can launch entities through here, and then, uh, as I will show you, if you've got a stair and a trap door, both of these yeah. are the same Y level, so your yeah. sand and your TNT and sand, hits. Sand won't break on here because it's above technically. <clears throat> yeah, technically. Actually, the slab. Yeah, it's, um, it's, if it's here, uh, it'll come and hit this part. And then this is slightly higher where your power is, so your power is here right and your sand entity will be um it will be uh here in in between these two blocks in between the stair and the trap door right here and as your power blows this power blows so this the sand stays on the stair for a game tick and then your power blows and then um basically it gets strangled up yeah. <clears throat> So here, this is how you build your power. So in this video, we're just going to show you how to build the power. I just dropped the sampling. What am I doing? I keep this way. I'm just going to go ahead and fire this. Check mm -hmm. blocks, please. Uh, yeah. So as you guys know, uh, a user, I'm not going to say his name, uh, has recently, you know, deleted. Bro, everyone plots. knows. Just say it. Just, yeah, just say five it. aside, five deleted everyone's. Yeah. Dickhead deleted everyone's plots. Oh, I accidentally put that on a big plot. Oops. That's going to spray. There you go. That's gonna spray because I accidentally put it on a large clock. I did like. Oh, okay, clock. okay. I did. So, okay, that should work now. Here, we will show you. So, if you're levering, there you go, here. So, the server is lying because it's canon. But as you will see, there's no TNT. <coughs> so, these boosters, these boosters, they fire before the power and just boost it right out here, like that. Boom. And then the power fires a little bit later, boom, and those, that is two of these. So as you can see, these fire at two different times. Boom, boom, basically. And yeah, that's basically how you build the power. If anyone has any questions, let me know in the comments.